I Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh my God. This uh we are about to start the online prayer and let's endeavor to connect to the online prayer now. As we are about to connect to the online prayer, yeah. Please, let's connect to the online prayer right now as we are about to start through the online prayer tonight. Uh, now I'm believing God that uh, as we come together to pray tonight, the God of heaven in his power, in his mercy, in his goodness, will visit us in Jesus' name. Now I'm believing God that tonight that God is going to take us to the next level as we all join hands and we pray together. We lift up our voice before our call. We call upon the Lord, the living God tonight, that the Lord God Almighty will visit us mightily in Jesus' name. And we shall all have this tomorrow. 
Praise the Lord. Let's pray together. I believe as we as we keep on praying, other people, other brethren, that will join us as we start right now. Shall we pray? Our Father, we thank you once again for another opportunity that you are extending to us as we come together to pray tonight. We bless your name for the previous uh, meeting and the previous program on this, our online prayer meeting. We worship your name because you are the Alpha, you are the Omega. We appreciate you for your kindness in our life, your mercy in our life, for your goodness and faithfulness. Father, receive all our praises and thanks, eternal rock of ages in Jesus' name. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for the preservation of life. We bless your name because you are our God. We worship your name because you are our maker. We exalt your name because you cannot fail, you will never fail. You are the eternal God, you are the everlasting God, you are the ancients of this. You are, you are the I am that I am, the God that, that never be. Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, King of glory, we appreciate your grace in our life. We appreciate your mercy in our life. We appreciate your faithfulness in our life. And we believe, as we come to pray, we take your face, we believe. You are going to answer all in Jesus' name. And I'm believing God that tonight, that your, by your mercy and by your power, you are going to reach out to every one of us tonight. And after the online prayer tonight, everyone will be renewed. Everyone will be revived. Everyone will move forward in strength, in power, in grace, in ability, in Jesus' name, the grace we need, we pray that you give us that grace to persevere. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. I want us to begin to appreciate God. Let's begin to bless the name of the Lord. Let's worship Him for who He is. Let's give Him the glory to you unto His name. Let's bless Him. I want to hear you pray. I want to hear your voice. I want to hear you pray. I want you to open your mouth and appreciate God. I want you to bless the Lord. The psalmist said, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. I want you to lift up your voice and to glorify the name of the Lord, and to exalt the name of the Lord, and to worship the name of the Lord. Our God is a good God. Praise the Lord, give him the glory. Praise the Lord, give him the honor. Praise the Lord, give him the adoration. Praise the Lord, give him the glory. For great is the Lord and is worthy of our praise. There is no one we can compare with him. The ancients of faith, the king of kings, the I, I am that I am. Why can't you show God I appreciate? God I worship you. God I adore you. God I magnify you. God I exalt you. Worship him and give him the glory of his name. Our God is good and is worthy of our praise. Praise the Lord of my soul and all that is within me. Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. God is great of our praise. And God is worthy of our praise. Open your mouth and bless the name of the Lord. Please, I want to hear you pray. Emote yourself. Emote yourself and pray. I want to hear your voice. I want to hear the people pray. I, if I'm needing prayer, I want to hear the people of God open their mouth and pray. I want to open their mouth and pray. For calling upon the name of the Lord. That is why we call for prayer. That is why we, we look up to call for strength. Open your mouth and appreciate God for who He is. Open your mouth and pray. Pray, pray. Move yourself and pray. Please. Move yourself and pray. Please. I want to hear you. Move yourself and pray. Please talk quiet time. This is a prayer program. This, this is a prayer to say. This is a global prayer to say. A global prayer program. So it's not quiet time. It's not a time that you, it's not quiet time. It's a time of prayer. And if you want to have power with God and power with man, you must open your mouth. You must say to God. For great is the Lord. 
that be praised. Bless the Lord of my soul. All that is within me. Bless his holy name. Show him praises. Put yourself Thank you, Lord. Put yourself and pray. Put yourself and pray. Bless the Lord of my soul. Bless the Lord of my soul. Bless Thank you for your compassion over our life. Thank you for the gift of worship him, exalt him, magnify him, give him the glory to you all to his name. Move yourself. Move yourself. I want to hear you. Move yourself. I want to hear you. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. You move yourself. I want to hear you when I say in Jesus' name, so I will know that we are connected. Please, I want to hear your voice when I say in Jesus' name, so I will know you are connected. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for that response. The Bible says, who can understand this error? Cleanse that me from every secret fault. Who can understand this error? You are going to pray tonight. Whatever is in me that we want to hinder my prayer tonight. Whatever is in me that the devil could use as an accusation of my answer tonight. The blood of Jesus Thank you, Lord. 
Please, can you move yourself? I want to hear you. Please move yourself. This prayer program, this global prayer program, is not quiet time. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Thank you for that response. Our Father, we thank you because there is power in the blood. We bless thank your you. name for the efficacy of the blood of Jesus that is still flowing from Emmanuel's side. And tonight, we pray that blood we speak for every one of our life, for good for our life. In Jesus' name, go to the script. Father, as we lost that scripture to pray, you there will be complete deliverance in this program, complete liberation in this program. In Jesus' name, thank you, God, for the answer. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, praise the, the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will not spend much time today. Uh, believe me, I'm not going to take much of time because we are starting a new series today. And the series I want to start four weeks, four Thursday. I want to deal with a series for these four weeks now. Every Thursday, I'll be, for this four Thursday, I want to take a series and the theme of the series is let my people go. That is the theme of the series. Let my people go. Every Thursday, I'll be coming up and with this series. And the Lord, at the end of this series, every Egyptian, every single Joshua, every that represents Egypt, spiritually, physically, materially, the Lord will wipe it away in Jesus' name. Amen. In four other people, we are seeing a new sense from today. And it seems again, let my people go. I took my text from the book of Exodus, 5, verse 1 and 2. Exodus, chapter 5, verse 1 and 2. And after what Moses and Aaron went in and told Pharaoh, thus says, thus says the Lord God of Israel, let my people go, that they may go fast unto me in the wilderness. Verse 2. And Pharaoh said, Who is the Lord that I should obey his voice to let Israel go? I knew not the Lord, neither will, neither will I let Israel go. Already God have told Moses to go for Egypt, to tell Pharaoh to let my people go. And Pharaoh restricted the Pharaoh restricted that dominion. Pharaoh restricted, he restricted that, 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 that that breakthrough, he said, I will never let them to go. True freedom is, is, is the freedom to serve God. That is the true freedom. We are free. True freedom is the freedom to serve God. Pharaoh is the God of Egypt. Egypt is a picture of this world. Pharaoh is a picture of Satan, the God of this world. Like Satan, he was a liar. And many times he agreed to let Israel go and then he changed his mind and then he brought Israel back again to body. Pharaoh was a, Pharaoh was a murderer. The Bible is coming to keep us to destroy. But Jesus Christ came that we may have life and that we may have it all abundantly. Pharaoh kept the truth in bondage. The devil went on to serve sin, sickness, and Satan as well. Pharaoh ate God's people. And the devil was the devil also does the same thing. The devil is walking like a like a roaring light or seeking food or they are. The children of Israel were afflicted, in, afflicted and oppressed in Egypt. Then they cried to the Lord God of the Hebrews for deliverance. And God noticed it. God, God saw the affliction 
son of Israel and their sorrow, he received the sorrow of God's people. He knew of it, and the cry, and God heard the cry of the afflicted people, and God promised a speed deliverance by sending Moses to God to deliver Israel. When we cry to God in prayer, he heard us. And he also answered prayer. And this time, God heard the cry of the children of Israel. And he answered them by sending Moses to deliver them. Chapter 5 of Exodus, verse 1. Then, then, then the Lord said unto Moses, Go to Pharaoh and speak unto him. Thus says the Lord, the God of the Hebrew, Let my people go that they may serve me. We read about Pharaoh's vow. And the reaction of God Almighty. I mean, I tell you something. What then is the description of, of Pharaoh? Number one, Pharaoh is this. Is the meaning of Pharaoh is the son of the sun, the son, the son of the sun. That's the meaning of Pharaoh. As I do my research, I saw that the real meaning of Pharaoh is the son of the sun. That is why you see the man is so hard on my The description of Pharaoh is the Spirit of destiny terminator. That is the decision of Pharaoh. Is the spirit of destiny terminator. Not only that, the spirit, the description of Pharaoh is the spirit behind that master set up on the people to, 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 to afflict them. And we are going to deal with all those tax masters. The description of Pharaoh is the spirit of magic and sorcerer. The spirit of magic. Let me tell you something. Africa is full of magic. The government will tell you. Somebody from my Africa here want to travel out to, uh, to, to Asia. And then when he wanted to travel, maybe I've told you the story before. I will say, tell you the story again. He got to the aircraft and he, he checked in and every other thing. And before he traveled, before he traveled out, the villagers, the elders in the village, they saw those wicked elders that saw him with their magic mirror on the airport. I said, ah, so and so, what is it in the airport? He's traveling, he wants to travel, okay. They now use their magic power. As the man sat in the aircraft, uh, he, one of the shoe in his right leg got missing. He sat and looked in the, air, for, in the aircraft for his shoe, he couldn't find, he couldn't find his shoe again. So the moment he landed over there, the immigration officer arrested him. What happened to you? Why is why are you coming with one leg and, and your shoe and all that? He said he was looking for his shoe in the aircraft. He couldn't see it. That became an issue. They deported that man back to Nigeria. When they deported the man back to Africa, this man now went to the village to go and greet to go and greet his uncle. As he got there, one of the wicked elder called him. He called him by name. He said, You small boy. You want to travel, you've not taken passenger from us. He said, Look up there, that that is one of your shoes that you are looking for your aircraft. Look at it over there. The man was surprised. He said the testimony with us, he was so surprised that they can use a magic power to, to, to track him and bring him back to bring him to Africa. Because the spirit of Pharaoh is a spirit of magic and sorcerer. And not only that, he represents stubborn pursuer. You know, when Israel left Egypt, Pharaoh pursued after them. That is the spirit of Pharaoh, the spirit of Pharaoh. Do you know there is a Pharaoh that stops people's parents from progressing in life? And that is why God tells Moses, Go and tell Pharaoh, let my people go. There is a Pharaoh that hinder people break through and waste people opportunity in life. And that is why God told Moses go and tell Pharaoh, let my people go. Not even still upset. Yeah. That is why this program, on this program we are going to be treating this, this, we'll be treating this program. Yeah. It's a Pharaoh that gets, that gets people, people talent, people glory, and people punctuality. And God told Moses, go and tell Pharaoh, let my people go. There is a Pharaoh that in that, that in that what I will call advancement. You want to advance in life, you hinder it. You bring limitation for advancement to your life. And that is why God told Pharaoh, go and tell Pharaoh, let 
Almighty God. There is a Pharaoh that goes against the Almighty God. Chapter 5, verse 2. And Pharaoh said, Who is the Lord that I should allow Israel to go? I knew not the Lord. Neither will I allow Israel to go. Every Pharaoh that says you will not be delivered tonight, God will be with them tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 There is a Pharaoh, there is a Pharaoh that will be put down in the same spot. There will be put down in the same spot. You want to move ahead, the power of Pharaoh, the magic sorcerers of Pharaoh, the magic power of Pharaoh, they'll tie the person down in one spot. One week is in that place. One month is in that place. One year is in that place. It's not going forward. It's not going back. They tie the person with me in one spot with their magic power. Every magic power of Egypt tonight, the Lord will destroy those magic power away in Jesus' name. Oh, man. Let me also tell you, there is a Pharaoh that doesn't want you to make heaven. There is mm. a Pharaoh that doesn't want you to progress to make heaven. And that is why every Pharaoh that is working against your life, every Pharaoh that is using magic power, to, 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 to remove and reposition you. Every pharaoh that is coming against you spiritually, financially, mm -hmm. socially, maritally, mm -hmm. and they want to scatter the good work of God in your life, your family, mm -hmm. then Lord will throw them. Oh, no. Tonight, you are going to pray to a prayer. Tonight, you are going to release a fire of God. From every pharaoh that, that, will, that want to hinder your progress, from every pharaoh that, that is stubborn pharaoh that is pushing you, from every pharaoh that, that is using tax master to oppress you, from every pharaoh using magic power and social power to remote to control your family and to disorganize everything in, you, in your vocation, in your life, the Lord will throw them down. Amen. Amen. I say, God, throw them down. Amen. Amen. The power of God, the, the strength of God will root out every power, every forces, war, and mm -hmm. captivity. Mm -hmm. Sometimes here you are, you have been praying for something, and then mm -hmm. somebody said you will never get it. So it's over his dead body for you to get married, over his dead body for you to have children. Over his dead body for you to have for you to have that prosperity. They have said it with their mouth. You just go and pray. Because that thing you are looking for, God will give it to you in Jesus' name. Amen. So go put your mouth and let's go before the Lord right now. Let's call upon the Lord. I want you to plead the blood of Jesus. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. in my life. I plead the blood of Jesus in my life. I plead the blood of Jesus in my life. I plead that the blood, that the peace of the blood of Jesus, be a rise in my blood tonight. Make sure you are a rise in the blood tonight. I am. Make sure you are iniquity in your life tonight. And put yourself under the mark and the fingers of the blood of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus be a rise in my blood tonight. Jesus, 
kuna be tabua ha benga be ya we we puka ni ya be kuna so kuna ya we have pastor benjamin please pastor benjamin your mic is making noise at the background pastor benjamin your mic is making noise at the background so, pastor benjamin please take hold of that in righteousness shall you be established and oppression shall be far away from you we are going to pray tonight that god will establish you in righteousness when you are Amen. established in righteousness oppression will be far away from you ask the lord of god establish you in righteousness ah, so the prayer is not all the prayer is not all the the prayer is not all the prayer is not all the prayer is not the prayer is not the prayer is not all the Abu director admin da bevini beji o and if you will a bevini ha very way a change in your life the first prayer point is any power has set of us in my life there's us power that when i say us power die that power, i can't in you Maxwell, Okay, I'm okay now. I need every power. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Let it break. 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 Let it in the name of Jesus, every power of the Lord, every power of the Lord, every power of the Lord, that is falling into the world, falling into the world, 
Amen. There are some people who the power of Egypt and Pharaoh said they will never get married. There are some people, sisters, the power and magic of, of, of Egypt. And Pharaoh and stubborn Poshua said they have assigned them and say you you will never have children. You will never mm. have you will you will never marry. And they are fighting again. That is why you are going to pray once and again. You are going to oh, ask the Lord and pray. And uh, any power that refuses to let you go, any power that refuses to let you go, marital, any power that refuses to let you go, spiritual, any power that refuses to let you go, socially, you are going to pray for all lessons us pray. I Yeah. 
For this prayer request, somebody said, Sir, kindly join me in prayer for God as distance and favor as regards the professional exam. I'll be writing next. Let's pray for this person. It's about taking a professional exam that God will give him an open door in this professional exam. That all what you have read, God will. Come <laughs> But I found that I was 
I want all I want you to join me in prayer that God will help me out and deliver her from evil sound of of car. Uh, from evil sound. You used to hear horrible noise of car if it's walking on the road. You used to hear horrible noise in, in a year. We're going to pray for her that God will silence that strange noise. That strange noise he normally leaves, he normally hear when he's walking when he's, he's walking on the road. Let's command every strange voice. God will mm-hmm. silence it. God will mm-hmm. silence it. God will mm-hmm. silence it. God will 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 silence it. In the name, in the name, in the name of Jesus. We pray, O Lord, we pray for our own Lord, perfect us and perfect families of us. In the name of Jesus, we ask for your favor. Every sin, the name of Jesus. Every divine, the Lord, every spirit of madness, the Father, we will remove the sanction in the name of Jesus. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. I want to buy property that God should open the door and provide for him. This person wanted to buy property. Let's pray for this person that God will provide for him as he and his client to buy property and God will provide for him abundantly for me this right in the eyes of the Lord. I see the Lord. Make me righteous. Make me pure. Make me pure. Make me clean and prepare me for your coming. And it's an entrance of a sad eye. I will drop you and go with the Lord. Pastor Matthew, please take over. Pastor Matthew, what is it? Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our past, our 
power by the grace of the Lord. And then we are seeing it in, when God demonstrates it in the land of Egypt. Now, this is Moses, the person everybody knows as his camera. He can't talk. Uh, whenever he's talking, we see the differences between his, his speaking and that of Aaron. Now, this man went to the pharaohs and he wants to deliver them. Then it's a matter of who is who. But do not forget the God have said, I am who I am. And he showed yeah. the through the through Moses. You now call upon the name of the Lord. Whatsoever it may be, whatso power it may be, either from my family background, from enemy, or from generation to generation, whatsoever okay. it be by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, as a result of today's prayer that let my people go. Mm-hmm. Most of those prayers, Pharaoh, that let my people go. And the long, he let them go. And the long run, he does, he was a citizen that I wouldn't have let them go. He perished with the Red Sea. We call upon mm-hmm. him. Any power that say we not let me go financially, any power that say we not let me go, I mean physically, any power that say the generation cause we have need to affect me, affect my children, any power that say I will not make it, any power that say I will not be the head, any power that say my pillar will not even be functioning. I call upon the name of the Lord today as the power of Pharaoh perish in the Red Sea. Let, every, those, let all those power perish in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth, call upon the name of the Lord. My dear brother, no. call upon the name of the Lord. My dear sister, call upon the name of the Lord. My dear father, call upon the name of the Lord. My dear mother, call upon the name of the Lord. My dear uncle, call upon the name of the Lord. My colleague, call upon the name of the Lord. Enough is enough. You have been on this journey for a long time. The promise of the Lord is that you shall be the end and not the tail. The, 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 the promise of the Lord is that we are ever you are. The Lord from the south, from the east, from the west, people will come and look unto you. Call upon the name of the Lord. What is that particular thing? What is that particular thing that is delayed, that is aborting, that is stopping, that it does not let me have progress in my life, in my ministry, in my life, in my financial situation, in my life, in my life, in the, situ- in the situation of my wife, in my life, in the situation of my husband, in my life, in all the situations that surrounding me, that all the now, still, still, See, all I'm seeing is managing. All I'm seeing is begging. All I'm seeing is compromising. Father, what is it going to be? I say it at age of 30. I say everything will be changed. Say, it go better, it go better. I'm still there. I say your 35. I say everything will go down. But I will have the, the promise will come upon me. It go better, it go, go better. I'm still there. I say it at 40. Yes, I say I will have things going to be better. In my ministry, in my financial situation, in my physical situation, in my in, in my in my practical situation, oh my father, in my political situation, in my early area, that one may be your marital life, your marital life. Father, I pray by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. Why all things that affect my father, affect my grandfather, affect my grandfather, why all things that is affecting my generation will come and affect me? Oh, it means, oh my father, I pray by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. I throw them away because why I know Jesus Christ. I know the Lord who his name is I am, I am. He is the one that makes the rod continue to swallow another rod. He is the one that makes the truth, the rod break the red sea. The red sea of my life, oh Lord. The rock of my life, oh Lord. The snake of my life, oh Lord. How was so devil is as hypocritical? 
to attack me, attack my marriage, to attack me, to attack my financial situation, to attack me, to attack my to attack my uh, uh, to attack my to attack me, to attack my to attack my wife, to attack me, to attack my husband. The end has come to me today in the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Let me go, O Lord. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. And the situation has been there like that more than 400 years. Then, when the uh, Joseph brought his father to the uh, to Egypt, the thing changed. They started suffering. The generation, generation. Look at how many people that have died during that period. Then he come to the generation of Moses. God answered their prayer. He said, the enough is enough. Mm-hmm. But this you will not know, suffer again. It has come to all, your own generation. Mm. Enough is enough in your mm. family. Amen. I was talking to one of my friends. I said, he said, they said three people in the generation, they never suffer. He told me that, yes, Matthew, three people in generation, they never suffer. But to have you have three people in the generation that they are multimillionaire to, when you mm. go to the stage, that thing will break. You call upon the name of that. It is in my it is my own generation. Whatsoever that been passing through my generation, mm-hmm. that they don't have they don't have grand, they mm-hmm. don't have hand, they don't have mouth. They are managing still. I too am managing. They mm-hmm. can't talk in the public. I too I cannot talk in the public. Why you come mm-hmm. to the generation of Moses that cost talk? In my mm. own generation, whatever whatever causes, whatever generation sin, whatever what might have been following us, that is still want to be following me in my marital life, that mm. want to be following me in my economic life. They don't know my father, they don't know me. In the in Nigeria, they don't know my father, they don't know me. In my family, my fa- my, my my father cannot talk. I say I cannot talk. In my mm. colleague, in the colleague, I can, my, my, my family cannot say anything. I, I cannot say anything. Why you come to the, the to the generation of Moses? The, the God answered them. And the Moses came forward. You are the Moses of your family. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Whatever has been the stumbling block in your family that want to be affecting you, affecting your generation, affecting you, affecting your son. Affecting you, affecting your family, affecting you, affecting your wife, affecting you, affecting your husband. That by the power and the blood of Jesus, a blockhead come to you today in the name of Jesus Christ. As Amen. God, God has God anointed Moses, as God called Moses, God is anointing you this evening. God is calling you this evening by the power and the blood of Jesus. Christ. All the causes he removed in Jesus' name. Call upon the name of the tongue. Call upon him for that song. That by the power of the Lord, you will have upper hand. In the telling, I mean, your generation, you will have upper hand. Among your colleagues, you will have upper hand. The power of the Lord, Lord Jesus, among your, among your family, you will have upper hand. In your, in, in your community, you will have upper hand. In your state, you will have upper hand. It's not too late. My dear brother is not too late. My dear brother is not too late. My dear mother is not too late. It is not until you sleep. It is not until you are politics. Jesus Christ. 
from the land of Pharaoh by the power in the Pharaoh in your family, Pharaoh in the place of your work, Pharaoh in your journey, Pharaoh in your ministry, Pharaoh in the whole area of your life. By the power that the Almighty God is delivering you today in the name of Jesus Christ, He's delivering me today in the name of Jesus Christ. A new bread is being opened, a new bread is being opened, a new name is being given. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, from this window, from this moment, God of God in the name of the Lord, why me? Why me? Why me? Why this is not going to change? Why is it not going to change for me? Why the I pray by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ? Offer this is not my portion. Offer this is not to live the life of life in heaven. Everybody knows that. Offer this is not the name God like of God. Call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Offer this is not the name God like of God. Call upon the name of the Lord. Poverty financially, poverty economically, poverty in your marriage, poverty in your physical life. It's not your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, God, let me go. Almighty Father, set me free. As we set this seven free from the land of Pharaoh, by the power that was here on my land, from this moment, from this minute, all impossibility, all invisibility, all impossibility. Father, let them be possible for me in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them be possible for my son children in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them be possible for me, Almighty Father. Open way for me, O Lord. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. The way you let me see people of Israel see through the rest sea and they go. Almighty Father, the rest sit in front of me. The rest sit at my back. The rest in my left side. The left in my right side. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Testimony is my portion. Testimony is my portion. As for by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, so shall it be. Father, let me register in heaven. Remember, oh Lord, if you don't do it, nobody else will do it for me. And you better do it so that all the glory belong up to you. So that by the time I come next time, people will see this a child of the law. Call upon the name of the law. Call upon the name of the law. You have opened your heart before God, not before man. You have opened Yes, people may mock you. I want you to know everyone is not mocking you. People may make jest of you. I want you to know everyone is not making jest of you. People may make that because of our view. I want you to know that everyone recognize your fault. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you, sir. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, we have decreed Amen. spiritual property, financial property, marital property, social property is not our portion. Amen. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. The children of Israel came out of Egypt. Amen. Pharaoh was not happy. Pharaoh pursued after them. Is a stubborn pursuer. The enemy say, I will pursue, I will overtake. Every stubborn pursuer that is following her aside and pursuing any child of God on this online prayer conference. So, stubborn pursuer will command them, let them be overthrown in the rest of the world. Amen. Moses told the Israelites, the Egyptians, who you see today, you Egypt. shall see them no more, but God shall fight for you. Tonight, Amen. we pray, Father, any battle, any family is going through on this conference. Amen. We pray, Father, be God of fight for the battle of your children in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We continue next week Thursday of this new series we have started. Let my people go. At the end of this series, there will be complete deliverance for every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you God for the answer. Thank you. Amen. We pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Let us continue to pray for GS as in the United States Arab. Uh, you United Arab State or whatever that God will continue to be with. Uh -huh. Thank you. That God will continue to be with him in Jesus' name. And as Amen. 
soon as he's coming back, God will be with him in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's continue. Individual, we are not many. If God can be hearing testimony from every one of us, that that that's great, and God is going to do it in Jesus' name. Do not forget. That all day, uh, let us continue to pray for all our donors. One, uh, the Almighty God will continue to provide for them in Jesus' name. They will not lack Jesus Christ. I want to appreciate everybody from Nigeria for the uh for the sacrifice. Almighty God is going to reward you abundantly in Jesus' name. You will not do it in Jesus' name. By the guy you get to the heaven, and God is telling you because of these people, people, these people are able to make it to heaven. You will not be surprised in Jesus' name, and your name yeah. will the book of life in Jesus' name. Do not forget yeah. this which is our hour of victory god is going to prepare us is going to prepare the, the 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 speaker in the name of jesus christ thank you let us share this together the great soul lord jesus amen and that's a change in the country. Amen. Thank you. 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 Thank that it does not know what everybody is passing through. Ever know, ever know, ever know. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, the story is going to turn to testimony in Jesus' name. He has not created you for He has not created you for to, to whatever you understand. But by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, the real thing God has created every one of us for. By the power, and we are going to achieve it in Jesus' name. My dear father, my dear sister, please wipe away your tears. Continue Amen. laughing. Continue to praise the name of the Lord. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God will glorify him in your life, in my life, in the name of Jesus Christ. Please. It is well. It is well with you. It is well with your family. In Jesus, we pray. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Bless you, sir. Thank you, sir. Praise the Lord. You believe like I believe. I said you believe like I believe that something must happen to you today. You will not escape it. It's coming my way. I said it's coming my way. The might of the Almighty will walk in your life. What are you there? Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for every brother and every sister, every boy and every girl, all our invitees and everyone here. Lord, I pray tonight 
This will be the moment of your might in every life in Jesus' name. Touch everyone. Transform every life. Do something unforgettable in every life tonight in Jesus' name. Let everyone in this place experience the might of the Almighty. Confirm it, O Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. As I've told you before, I'm telling you again, there will always be an amen in your life. Tonight, we come together for something special, something spectacular, and something unforgettable. Because when you come and you want to realize that this is the moment, this is the time, this is the very day that the might of the Almighty will be manifested in your life. Every mountain, it will roll away. Every challenge it will solve. And all those naughty, naughty things in your life, you want to go this way and they double cross you and they hinder you tonight. Everything will be blown away in Jesus' name. You will conquer. I will overcome. I said I will overcome. You will overcome and conquer in Jesus' name. Tonight, I'm talking to you on living by the might of the Almighty. Living by the might of the Almighty. Walking by the might of the Almighty. Laboring by the might of the Almighty. Progressing by the might of the Almighty. You are here tonight, I can tell you confidently that every stumbling block is taken out of your life. I can assure you tonight as you come in connection. As you come, reconciliation. As you come and you attach yourself to the Almighty, every impossibility will become possible tonight in Jesus' name. <laughs> Living by the might of the Almighty. Let me remind you, from eternity past, from the deathless past, until eternity future, until the endless eternity, God... It's always almighty. He introduces himself as the almighty God. That means there is no limit to his might. When it says almighty, that means there's no limit to his power. It's all powerful. That means there's no limit to his strength. Anything you want to carry, you cannot carry. The almighty is so powerful and his strength has no limit. He will carry it for you. There is no limit to his strength. He has the strength and he's going to even support you. He's going to be by your side. You are strong tonight. Let the weak say, you are strong and strength is passing into your body right now. Into your soul and into your mind. There is no limit to his dominion. He has authority. He has sovereignty. There's no limit to his ability. There's no limit to his authority. There's no limit to his omnipotence. You know what he does? In his almighty power, he grants us the might that we need to live by. From Genesis to Revelation, God is revealed as the almighty. He's revealed to his people as the almighty. Look at Genesis chapter 17. Genesis chapter 17, verse 1. And when Abraham was 90 years old and nine, the Lord appeared unto him and said unto him, I am the almighty God. You see that introduction? God comes to Abraham and God is talking to you tonight. He comes to you tonight. He said, what's your problem? What's your mountain? What's your challenge? What's the roadblock? What's the hindrance there? He introduces himself to you tonight. I am the almighty God. Walk before me and be thou perfect. Every hindrance is taken out of the way. We're looking at Job chapter 8. Job chapter 8. As these verses are being read, they're being fulfilled in your life. Every promise mentioned today is coming to your account. Every power revealed today is going to work for you in Jesus' name. 
Look at Job chapter 8, and I'm reading here from verse 5. Job chapter 8, reading from verse 5, it says, If thou wouldest seek God betimes, and make thy supplication to the Almighty. You're not praying tonight to a weak God, a powerless God, a limited God. You're praying and making your supplication before the Almighty. He will answer your prayer. If thou wert pure and upright, surely, surely, now he will awake for thee. Surely. Somebody shall surely. He will awake for thee. And make thy habitation, the habitation of the righteous, prosperous. Prosperity has come. Your debts will be paid. Your needs will be met. You come to the creator of the heavens and the earth. And all those challenges of famine, all the challenges of scarcity, everything, the Lord will roll away. Hey, look at verse 7. Look at verse 7. Mark it in your Bible. Hold it in your Bible. Hold it in your heart. And every time you understand, this is going to be your experience. From this moment of his mind, he says, Though thy beginning was small, yet thy latter end will greatly increase. Yeah. I must make this one personal to myself. Though my beginning was small, yet my latter end should greatly increase. There's somebody there, you feel you are small, you feel you are insignificant, you feel you are a nobody, you are going to become somebody. You feel nobody knows you, heaven knows you. And people on earth will know you. Look at verse 7. Though my beginning... I'm saying it for myself. Though my beginning was small, yet my latter end should greatly increase. Amen. That amen is for your life. It means so let it be, so let it be, so let it be. Let the blessing come upon your life. Let the glory come upon your life. Psalm 91, Psalm 91, I'm reading from verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High. Is he here tonight? I said, is she here tonight? He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the... Shall abide under the shadow of the... You are under a shadow. Satan will not trouble you there. Amen. Evil spirits will not trouble you there. Amen. That powers will not trouble you there. Amen. I will say, you see, the man is making it personal. He says, it's not just that he that dwelleth, he said, I am the one. I said, I am the one. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge, my fortress, my God. In him will I trust. Surely, help me shout the word surely. Surely, he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. You're free. As we come to God, and we understand, the moment we get to God, the moment of his might begins in our lives. The might of the Lord, number one, will be for us, will be for you. The might of the Lord will be with us, will be with you. The might of the Lord will be in us, will be in you. Tonight is that night. I said tonight is that night. You are getting something here tonight. The might of the Almighty will walk in your life in Jesus' name. The three things we're looking at before we pray, tonight we're going to pray. And every prayer you pray, everything that comes out of your mouth will be fulfilled in Jesus' name. Amen. Number one, comprehending the manifold grace of the Almighty. Comprehending, comprehending, knowing it, understanding it, perceiving it, and sensing it, and knowing that this is mine. 
comprehending the manifold grace of the Almighty. Number two, this number two, it will be fulfilled in my life. I said this number two is going to be fulfilled in my life. What's it? Number two, conquering mighty giants through the Almighty. Every giant against your life, conquer tonight. Every power against your life, conquer tonight. Conquering mighty giants through the Almighty. Number three, there is a confirmation. Before you go out of those doors tonight, a confirmation. In your heart, a confirmation. In your body, a confirmation. In your family, a confirmation. And all those medical reports, you know, I got this and they said this and they said this. Don't worry about that. The Almighty is here tonight. It will turn everything to your good in Jesus' name. Number three, number three, confirming the measureless gifts of the Almighty. Confirming the measureless gifts of the Almighty. Coming to number one, comprehending, comprehending the manifold grace of the Almighty. We're coming to First Peter. In First Peter, I am reading from chapter 4. First Peter chapter 4, and we're looking at verse 10. First Peter chapter 4, and we're reading from verse 10. You'll see it says the grace of God is manifold. It's not just, you know, I got saved. Praise the Lord. You got saved. There's more to the grace of God. Look at this. Chapter 4 verse 10. It says in chapter 4 verse 10, 1 Peter, as every man has received the gift, every man will receive the gift. I said every man will receive the gift. God counts you in. Don't count yourself out. God is thinking about you. Don't say, I have nothing. No, you have everything. I have. I said, I have. Look at this. As every man has received the gift, even so minister the same one to another as good stewards of, here is where, what, what we're looking for, the manifold grace of God. The manifold grace of God. Understand, we're talking about the Almighty. He is so mighty, he cannot fail. He is so mighty that there is nothing impossible for him. And he says, he comes to us through the manifold grace. Manifold grace. Uh, let me show you what it says about the grace of God so that you'll understand how yours is included. It will solve your problem. It will take away your sorrows. Look at chapter 5 of Romans. Romans chapter 5. I'm reading from verse 17. And we're looking at the manifold grace of God. The many-sided grace of God. Look at Romans chapter 5, verse 17. It says, For if by one man, man's offense, death reigned by one, much more, much more, they which receive, what kind of grace? I said, what kind of grace? You know, sometimes they're distributing something, and then you come, they give you a little, they measure it, and they tailor it to, they, they're looking at everybody, and they say, if we give you too much, it will not go around. But the grace of God is so great, and it's so abundant, every grace you need tonight is available for you. Because it says, through the abundance of the grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign. They will not rule over you. You will rule over them. All those problems, they look insurmountable. The abundance, the abundant grace of God is coming to you tonight, and you will reign by one Jesus Christ. Abundant grace. Somebody help me shout abundant grace. What are you having tonight? What's coming to you tonight? No matter how far you have gone in the negative direction, the grace of God is greater than that. It will overtake you. It will bring you back. You will experience the love of God tonight, the forgiveness of God tonight, the freedom from God tonight, and the supply of everything you need tonight in Jesus' name. Look at this in First Timothy chapter 1. 
1 Timothy chapter 1, I'm reading from verse 14. 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 14. And the grace of our Lord Jesus was exceeding abundant with faith and love, which is in Christ Jesus. In Romans, we learned it is abundant. But now he tells us, Paul the apostle said, He's gone so far, he's gone so deep. It's gone against the way of the Lord, and it's a terrible thing that he had done. But he says now, it's not only that the grace of God came to save me, it's not only that the abundant grace of God came to save me, he said, exceedingly abundant grace, you need that tonight, it will come. Yeah. Understand tonight, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. But I've been very bad, the grace of God covers you. I've been terrible, the grace of God covers you. I have done something I cannot even tell people because if I tell them, they will stone me to death. The grace of God covers you tonight. Grace covers me. Grace covers me. Salvation is coming. Grace will bring it to you in Jesus' name. Verse 14, verse 14. And the grace of our Lord was exceeding abundant with faith and love which is in Christ Jesus it will come to you the grace of the almighty brings the repentance to the almighty the grace is like drawing you it's like pulling you it's like saying don't be dejected don't be sorrowful and don't think that there is no hope for you there is hope for you over there today Everyone here, there is hope for you in Jesus' name. And then that grace of God forgives you, forgives you, and saves you, regenerates you, recreates you, reconciles you, the penitent to the Almighty. Look at Titus. Titus chapter 3. In Titus chapter 3, I'm reading from verse 7. Titus chapter 3, verse 7. It says, be justified by his grace. That's the grace of God. We should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. It says, the grace of God, it forgives us and it justifies us. What does that mean? It's like you know, somebody goes to court and everybody speaks against him. Witnesses speak against him. Lawyers speak against him. Advocates speak against him. His own conscience speaks against him. Even his countenance speaks against him. Everything is against him. And then the judge said, look up here. Everybody is against you, but I am on your side. <laughs> what the Lord is saying is, Satan is against you. Demons are against you. Your neighbors are against you. Even your conscience is accusing you. You are bad. You are sinful. You are terrible. You are deformed. You are defiled. And you, you are going to go to hell. And then God said, look up here. I am on your side. Am I talking to somebody there today? Is the Lord talking to somebody there today? Tonight, every sin you ever committed, because Jesus died for you on the cross of Calvary, he will forgive everything in Jesus' name. Whatever is accusing you, whoever is accusing you, God says, God says, he's talking to somebody there. God says, he's talking to somebody there. I am on your side. Look at that, look at that. It says, for being justified by his grace, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. Look at um, Hebrews chapter 2 verse 9. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 9. It says, but we'll see Jesus, you will see him tonight. In your mind side, you will see him tonight. In your conscience, you'll see him tonight. In your spirit, in your soul, in your heart, you'll see him tonight in Jesus' name. But we'll see Jesus was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death. Look at this, look at this. Count with glory and honor that by the grace of God, that he, by the grace of God, should taste death, should taste death, should taste death. For every man, he died your death. 
I said, he died your death. You will not die prematurely. You will not die spiritually. You will not die a sinner's death. That when the fellow dies, they say, ah, that man, we know where he has gone. And they put their finger in their mouth, that will not be your Lord. Tonight, wants to say, I receive Jesus. I accept Jesus. I make Jesus my Lord and Savior. He has tasted death for every man. Look at verse 10. For it became him for whom are all things and by whom are all things in bringing, in bringing, in bringing many sons unto glory. I am one of them. I said I am one of them. To make the captain of their salvation perfect through suffering. And then look at verse 11. For both he that sanctifieth and they who are sanctified are all of one. He sanctifies, we are sanctified, and then we're united with him. It says they are all of one because it says for which cause he is not ashamed to call them brethren. He's not ashamed. He says, that's my brother, that's my sister.